This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. The Kingdom of East Anglia saw the birth of their greatest son, an Anglo-Saxon warrior destined to be a champion for the ages and a national treasure for all time. Welcome to another Kickstarter Fails. Now this one is a little personal and we're going to talk quite a bit about it. Um, but it's Robotech RPG Tactics. Probably one of the greatest sore spots of all time uh, by Palladium Books. Now again, I'm going to preface that this is not to bash anybody, but this is to try to reach out and maybe get some kind of resolution. Palladium Books still puts out a lot of books and everything like that, but boy, did they really drop the ball on this particular game. And I do have a personal type of history, so I'm going to talk a little bit about this. But you're more than welcome to contact me at novaprime860 at hotmail.com, and we would be more than happy to have you on here, answer some questions, and maybe it never hurts to ask for a little forgiveness, because maybe you just might get it. If you just say you couldn't, it'd make it a lot easier, but uh, they did not deliver what they promised. And the funny thing about it, there were supposed to be so many waves, and this thing funded very, very, very huge on on uh, Kickstarter. And uh, when the game came out, it came, finally came, it did not deliver all the stuff that it was supposed to have. And a lot of people didn't get it. As a matter of fact, it went to retail. To some degrees and you were able to pick up this box set and I think there were two expansions that came out nothing that was promised another big disappointment was putting these bad boys together um, you needed a science degree to put these together and when I tell you the first time I put these together and I bought a couple of boxes it was absolutely impossible now to go back, I saw this game and I picked it up. Uh, matter of fact, I think I got it from, oh, if I'm not sure, I got it from from a Miniature Market, if I wasn't uh, correct. And I was excited to get this home, not knowing the whole Kickstarter history. Everybody was excited to get it, but when they started putting it together and, and then the gameplay wasn't everything that they promised it would be, that it was a very mediocre game at best, uh, there was a massive amount of disappointed and then all the people that paid for all these stretch goals that never never materialized now i remember going to gen con quite a few years ago and a matter of fact to be honest with you i think that's where i might have gotten my first copy of it i went to palladium books and and uh checked out the game and they said that they were going to be now this is in their booth saying hey yeah we got all the plans for this stuff and so forth and so on and i was hooked I mean, who doesn't love Robotech? I mean, um, just a fantastic background. The, the anime was fantastic. And then now you have a chance to play all these things. And it's not that great of a game, unfortunately. Uh, I do believe some people have house ruled it um, and made it a little bit better. Uh, you can check on Board Game Geek for any of that, along with all the list of, of heartache that goes into this game. Now, the next time that I was able to get my hands on this was at Miniature Market when they had it at a reduced cost and uh, was selling it quite feverishly uh, to those that would just buy it. And I got it so cheap that it was worth having a second set in case anybody decided to buy out and, and redo the rules. The other thing is so many people have tried to contact Palladium and uh, to no avail, no response whatsoever. And yet they keep on kicking out role-playing books like there was no tomorrow. And I remember seeing when I was talking about this game how upset people were and how they would never support them again. It just wasn't a way to do business uh, with the consumer and not keep them abreast of everything that was happening. 
The latest rumors I've heard on this particular game is that someone was thinking of buying the license to it and um, actually the sculpts to it and reducing the size of the game. Now, rumor, true. Um, but, you know, this is another thing that, you know, you look at Palladium Books, also in association with the Ninja Division, and we know how they turned out. That just turned out to be a complete disaster. A game where, where you know, the models are not horrible, okay? Um, they are actually, you know, very nice looking. The problem is, is actually getting these bad boys together. And I'll tell you right now, uh, you know, just building something like this, you know, can, can take you almost 20 minutes because of all the pieces that were involved. And uh, then on top, painting it. But uh, like I said, you know, all the instructions in the world, and uh, matter of fact, I have some right here, and you could see how much it takes just to put one thing together for a destroyer. I mean, just a lot of little pieces and uh, uh, a, a lot of a headache. It's not as simple as it seems. Once you get going though, you know, you start to build a little bit of momentum, but there's a lot of stuff to build and people got discouraged just building it. Um, it would have been nice if they just almost, had, they came formed to be honest with you at this point, but uh, it was not to be and um, probably one of the most disappointing Kickstarters because it held so much promise to everybody. I know that when I got this, I was quite disappointed. I wanted to love it because the fan in me just wanted to love it. And uh, what am I gonna do with all this stuff? I don't know, but I'll tell you this much. I keep waiting for somebody to come out with a real good set of rules because uh, I'm just not that smart at it and seeing if there's some way to salvage this ill-fated game. Well, there you have it. All the background with Robotech RPG Tactics. Do you have a story from there? Do you have a story in contacting them? For sure, they're more than allowed to get a hold of me at NovaPrime860 at Hotmail.com. I'm more than willing to have them on here and not beat them up to, you know, to be a show-off, but just Tell us, tell us, just give us the straight answer. And I think sometimes that helps heal a lot of very bad wounds. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob saying, we'll see you soon, unfortunately, with the next Kickstarter fails.